So I tried to uh, rescue the board and in the process um, took a bit of a hit myself as you can see. So we started just east of Normans Bay this morning um, and today was promised to be a good day according to Alex uh, who's been doing our weather routing um, and, it, and it has it's been glorious so far and um, we got 18.7k this morning which was brilliant and we were always planning for a double session because we didn't get to paddle yesterday um, and we're here now just past New Haven um, and we've nearly hit 20k again so we're flying along for a personal best uh, today I've got Sarah from a Sub Junkie with me as well and um, we've, we've been cruising along nicely and it's you know we haven't really been pushing ourselves to the extreme and um, we've, we've got the current with us so we're, we're flowing and we're just trying to sustain um, a good pace get into a nice rhythm uh, and most importantly just enjoy it So, um, came round Little Hampton and there's a quite a large groin that comes out and a lot of jet skiers uh, use that area. I told this jet skier, these two guys on the back of a jet ski who were blaring music out to slow down, completely ignored me, um, which obviously created a lot of waves because he was doing like 40, 50 mile an hour. Um, flew straight past me, sort of did one of those little skid things uh, flipped, flipped my board completely over. My my board was heading for the groin, um, which was um, a concrete one. So I tried to uh, rescue the board, and in the process, um, took a bit of a hit myself. Um, but it all co also cost me my shades, another cap, um, and my shoes as well, my footwear, which was attached to the front of the board. Um, but yeah, quite frustrating, really. 